Hello YouTube, how's everybody? This is Bob. I'm coming to you from my backyard near my pool. Here's uh, Malibu and Pacific Palisade across the bay here, from here. Anyway, as you know, we get a lot of uh, wildfires in California. And since the last uh, Palisade fire, I have decided to be proactive from now on. I'm going to uh, configure a uh, DIY firefighting hose using this equipment that I got from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. I got all these from Harbor Freight Tools. And what better use of water is there for from this pool? This probably has 20 or 30 truckloads of, uh, fire truckloads of uh, water in there. So here's the stuff I got from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. The Predator 212cc gasoline engine is a two inch intake uh, and discharge water pump. It's used to pump uh, water from like from a pool or from a waste, waste space, flooding space or something like that. It can be dirty water, doesn't matter. And then I got the gas for it. Oh, this one is like a $289, real cheap, from uh, Harbor Freight Tour, $289. You can probably get some discount using some coupons. I got the motor oil for it. I got the gas stabilizer, because I'm gonna use it for long-term stabilizer right here. So I got from, uh, everything's from uh, Harbor Freight Tours. I got the, except the gas, of course, from the gas station. This is a premium gas, two gallons. And here's the intake hose, two inch by 20 feet. And uh, discharge hose or out, outtake hose goes out. And it is at 100 feet of uh, inch and a half uh, fire hose. Well, I don't know about regulation fire hose, but it has a nozzle for it. I got it from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. This is this one is like a uh, seventy-seven dollars, and this thing's a hundred and nine dollars. So altogether, you don't have to put a lot of money out to make a firefighting unit. So let's open up and see. So as you can see, there's a lot of vegetation. On here, you need to get them soaked in the house too. So as you can see, right there, where the tall, uh, tall uh, palm tree is, lots of smoke. That's right now. <laughs> at the time of this filming. So we have so much uh, fire. Right now it's uh, near Lake Castaic on Highway 5, but yeah, we have uh, fire every other day here. So that's why I'm, I'm going to become uh, proactive. Here's the intake hose, discharge hose. This is uh, the only thing about this thing is uh, its pressure is fairly low. I think only about I can I think it can lift up the water about 90 feet or actually about 50 feet once they have the hose and all that. We'll see though. Okay, the hose is uh, connected. The intake and the outlet right here. This is 100 feet of. Uh, one and a half inch and this is a two inch intake hose no adapter needed I just add them on I'll throw that into the deep end of the pool priming the pump with water until it's full 
You always have to do this every time you want it. Okay, it's primed with water. See? Okay, now I have to turn this off, put this back on. Okay. Lots of water. Pumps a lot of water. Make sure the hose is not pink. That's a lot of water. 158 gallons per minute. I'm shooting into the pool so I'm not wasting water. That was it, my uh, homemade DIY firefighting system. It's still uh, not very uh, reliable because uh, sometimes it's powerful, sometimes it's uh, not too powerful. I think it's because I uh, don't know anything about how to fix the chokes and the throttle and all that. I'm just kind of doing it blindfolded. But when it's powerful, it sure definitely is powerful enough. So I shot the water right into the pool here.